Yeah. So, Chris. Yes. Uh, tell us about Grindhouse Toys, man. Uh, all right. Um, so Grindhouse Toys uh, is kind of like a little bit of my brainchild of just uh, loving. Um, Horror movies, B movies, yeah, obscure stuff, loosely, yeah, you know, ridiculous, campy stuff, and I wanted to bring that into the action figure world. Um, and you know, I felt like we don't get enough horror. You know, we get like the next stuff, which is great. You know, I collect a lot of horror stuff like that. But I was like, as a kid, I was always playing with my Ori Joes. I'd mix them with like aliens, you know, the alien Kenner figures, because they have big monsters and stuff like that. And I wanted to incorporate that into what I'm doing here with World War Hell uh, monsters. Demons, creatures, all that good stuff, but also the soldiers, and I love like Sergeant Rock, and uh, you know I'm a huge Aliens fan, so I love the whole like Space Marine element. But I want to bring all that into like a diesel punk kind of world, and that's kind of what this is. And I've even even unveiled the the monsters yet, so it's gonna be really fun. I want to do bigger things, you know, things of that nature. But you know, we do the VHS cases because you know it's 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 fun to get that tape. Uh, you know, bring us back to that nostalgic moment of going to the video store and just, you know, like Friday nights, hey, what am I going to rent all weekend? And also the whole, like, what's it going to be? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? But the artwork, we lived by that painted artwork or that, that fun, you know, image that was like, oh, it gets burned into our brain. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. And so I wanted to incorporate that in the toy world. And I think O-Ring is kind of that too because as much as I love 6-inch, 7-inch, 12-inch figures, all that stuff, O-Ring just brings me back anyways to being a little kid, and there's just something about that. And, and in the future, I would like to do vehicles with these guys, you know, like cool stuff. And uh, yeah, so Grindhouse Toys is just kind of on the fly. But we can't just call it O-Ring figures. These are not, the articulation is not O-Ring typical. It's very not O-Ring. No. Tell us a little bit about your articulation. Okay, uh, so I wanted to kind of push the boundaries because the technology is there now. I love like what stuff was done in, in, in the 80s, you know, with uh, Bill Merkline sculpting and, and, and just all the Joe stuff that they did, but like, you know, they were limited by the technology. Now with uh, digital sculpting and uh, everything of that nature, we have, I was able to incorporate, I mean, these are just the prototypes that don't move right now, but I actually have one right here. Um, the ankles rock. We got ankle rockers, so then you can actually get like wide grips on there. Um, they're gonna have. I still want it to look like a toy. That's the biggest thing. I want it to look like an O-ring figure. So we still have like the rivets, which I'm not sure 100 percent yet if we're gonna have full-on metal rivets or if it's gonna have the look of a rivet still. Um, it's gonna have wrist articulation. Right now it's rotating, but it's gonna actually have the uh, I mean the you know rocking back and forth, and then um, switchable hands. You know, O-Ring's never been able to punch anybody, and now they will be able to. This guy's rocking a chainsaw on his say, he could punch you with the chainsaw. He could. Yeah, he yeah. definitely could. We're but not these stopping. Guys, Graves is going to have uh, brass knuckles uh, in this, yeah. which will be really fun. Brass um, paperweights. Yes. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the toy cops. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, and uh, But yeah, so we're going to have all that. It's going to have the articulation like this, O-Ring. Um, we have an overlay over here to kind of hide a little bit of that, but also kind of give it a little bit more depth. Um, this gas mask, we're going to have different things like bullets, um, oh, bandoliers, all that good stuff. So, wait. Oh, and then neck, the neck is the classic, but also the ball joint. So you get a little, a lot more range of motion at this kind of stuff. And you get some pretty cool poses uh, from just this little guy. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. People make some cool dioramas. And oh, absolutely. Stuff like that. So are we going to see Kickstarter? Are we going to order directly from you? How are we going to do we're this? We're working on that right now, all the details. But right now we should know more by uh, springtime. Either if that's the case, that's when the Kickstarter will launch and go that route. Um, I want to have everything done first. That's the biggest thing. Is I respect. Don't, yeah. So I don't want like drawings. I don't want anything like that. I want painted prototypes so you know what you're going to get. Um, and I'm going to have everything figured out with the factory ahead of time. So as soon as we either have the funding we need, it goes right to tooling, and we get to start the production. Well, you have our purple support support well, as really soon as it goes that. live. That means a lot to me, so thank you guys. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time. Of course, of course. Beautiful. Um, yeah, definitely, 100%. Uh, I will definitely talk about that. As soon as I have some stuff, that'd be awesome. I'd love to see you guys' opinions. Just let us know. Yeah, man. Grassroots the shit out of it for you. Heck yeah. And I totally, like I was telling you yesterday, my, my buddies were talking about, yeah, we don't even collect 3.75. We had to get the Necromancer in. I, I don't collect 3.75 anymore because, like, the GI Joe Classified is everything that I liked with my O rings, but now, the tech, like you said, the technology is there, and so. Purple Gang Gang.